So at this point, hopefully you've read about secondary data in higher education research in the Elliott chapter, as well as read about large national data sets in particular in the chapter by Ryan Wells. So of all existing secondary data set programs, the one I think that is most useful for post-secondary administrators and researchers is the Integrated Post-Secondary Education Data System, or IPEDS. I use it all of the time in my research and teaching, and I'm hoping this presentation and the associated activity will convince you of the same. Okay, so to start, what exactly is IPEDS? Just to contextualize, so almost all colleges and universities in the United States participate in certain federal government financial aid programs, which are encompassed within the category of Title IV. These programs include Pell Grant, federal student loan programs, etc. So in exchange for receiving federal financial aid and federal money, the Higher Education Act of 1965 required all of these institutions to report certain data to the federal government on student enrollments, completion, graduation, faculty and staff information, finances, and cost of attendance. There are actually only about 30 schools in the entire United States that don't accept federal funds, mostly for religious reasons, and therefore they aren't included in IPEDS. And the link on the screen, um, highlighted in green, has more information about those institutions if you're interested. But basically, IPEDS is a census data program that represents information from over 7,000 different post-secondary institutions in the United States. Even though all of these data are out there and exist online, which the activity associated with this lecture will help you explore in more detail, still the question remains, why should you care? So there are a number of reasons actually why you in particular should care about iPads. So first of all, it's pretty useful to institutional leaders for benchmarking against other schools. So here's a screenshot from iPads. Um, I'll, again, the activity will explain more about how you can actually find these data, but essentially it shows the comparison institutions that the federal government used is against Arizona State University's Tempe campus right here. There are 26 institutions that the federal government has identified as being similar in type to ASU. And so iPads can be used to compare enrollments, compare um, cost of attendance, etc. of these institutions to schools like Arizona State. So it's actually a very useful source for institutional leaders who want to compare themselves to similar schools. Another reason why you should care about iPads is that the data are used in many ways by both the public and especially prospective students, even though in some cases they don't even realize what they're drawing from is iPads data. So listed up on the screen are a number of different programs that are based on iPads data that help to communicate to the public about colleges and universities in the United States. The College Navigator and College Scorecard are both Department of Ed tools that are intended especially for prospective students to try to identify institutions and compare institutions that fit within the characteristics they're seeking. So the College Navigator is great for searching for individual institutions by geographic region, by public or private status, by cost, etc. And then the College Scorecard is also really helpful to directly compare different institutions to one another. Other, um, other tools, the College Affordability and Transparency Center has a lot of information for students about net price, etc. that draws from iPads data. And then also U.S. News, the rankings produced by U.S. News and World Report draw from iPads data, as do other spending and trend types of programs and projects that are out there, including the De Delta Cost pro Project. So there are quite a number of uses for the public in general, and especially prospective students, that come directly from iPads. So the final reason why I particularly care about iPads from a very self-serving way is that it's very useful to me in my research. So first of all, I do quite a bit of quantitative research. I do surveys primarily of faculty, but occasionally of students at multiple colleges and universities across the country. And iPads is really nice in order to 
control for different institutional characteristics in multi-campus multi studies. So for instance, up here is a paragraph on the screen from a study I did, a survey of faculty at 15 institutions across the United States. As you can see up there in that paragraph, in addition to surveying the faculty themselves, I added to my data set information from the U.S. Department of Education's Integrated Post-Secondary Educational Data System to control better for sector, so institutional type, as well as control, public versus private, and institutions sort of selectivity in terms of how many students they admit every year, as well as size based on enrollment figures, graduation rates, etc. So iPads was really useful to me for that study. In addition, and this is something that I think will especially be salient hopefully to you as EDD students at Arizona State University, but iPads is really useful for also describing your local context, your study setting. As you'll hopefully see from the activity I've designed, you can use it to look up different single institutions and find out accurate, correct data that helps you to describe the context, institutional context in which you're conducting your study. So I would argue that IPEDS is the most generally useful federal data program for institutional leadership, for prospective students in the public, as well as for researchers. And that's why I'm making it such a focus of both this module as well as um, the activity that I've created for you to work with. However, there are two other more niche federal data programs that all institutions that receive federal funding are also obligated to participate in. The first one is called the Campus Safety and Security um, Database, which came about through the Clery Act a number of years ago. So basically, the Campus Safety Data Tool allows researchers and the general public to download and view information about criminal offenses that have occurred on university, college and university campuses over the past several number of years. And it's useful if you're doing research on, particularly on um, crime on campus and disciplinary actions on campus. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. So the final post-secondary data program that I want to make you aware of that can be useful to the public as well as institutional researchers and institutional leadership is the Equity and Athletics Data Analysis Tool, or EADA. Essentially, EADA is a reporting tool that's used for college sports. So if anyone is doing research on that topic, it can be very helpful in terms of describing your context. Here's Arizona State University's main page um, from EADA. And as you can see up there, uh, although it doesn't show the entire, the entire data set, but EADA tracks number of participants in a sport, um, information about how many coaches there are, their gender, as well as their salaries, program revenues and expenses, as well as team revenues and expenses, and then other general types of information. So for those of you, if anyone is doing a research study particular to college sports program, the ADA is a really nice tool. So that's the end of my introduction to iPads and just a mention of the other key federal data programs that I think are especially useful for scholars as well as post-secondary administrators. Um, I highly encourage you to engage with all of these tools, but in particular iPads, because not only should it be valuable for your action research dissertation, but also for, hopefully, your educational practice in post-secondary education going forward.